Hi. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've posted anything, like months since I've posted anything. But something happened recently that, you know, just gave me a reason to kind of start this thing up again. But it's going to be going in a new direction. Uh, for those that know me, I've been doing dinosaurs, mostly dedicating this channel to doing varnishes and dinosaur painting. But that's going to change. Um, I've basically retired from doing dinosaurs. That journey is done. And here's why. Here's what happened. So, back in May, Jeff Goldblum came to Houston with his jazz band, uh, the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra, if I'm doing that right. And not only did I get to meet him, I got to give him one of my paintings. What's this? What's... Oh, wait a minute. You did a painting. Did you do that painting? You're an artist. I knew it right away. And you did a painting of a dinosaur. This is a T-Rex. It's a T-Rex. <laughs> I can believe I know my dinosaurs. And this one is from the 1993 movie, a little picture called Jurassic Park. And he's just coming out of the, the paddock. Unfortunately, the, all the all the electricity is down, and so yes, yes. And you want to, want to take a picture? A selfie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting a lot. I'm, I'm supposed to say stay socially distant, but here, watch this. Thank you so so much. What's your name? I R J. After that, because of just being in shock. Uh, the first half of that show, I really don't remember. Up until intermission, yeah, that, that whole evening was just kind of a blur. So, uh, yeah, still life will always be fun. I'll still do paintings for other people, but as far as dinosaurs go, I can retire. That childhood has pretty much come full circle, so... Anytime I think about doing a dinosaur painting, it's just kind of like, why? Probably the only thing that would come close to that would be to meet the guy that got me drawing to begin with, uh, Mark McCreary. If you're a fan of dinosaur art at all, you've probably seen his work before. He's the guy that drew these. One new thing though, uh, since that night, is that I've got a new appreciation for jazz that I didn't have before. Do I go out of my way looking for it? No. But I can appreciate jazz whenever I hear it. You know, before it used to annoy the crap out of me, but now, eh, like classical music, it's, it's not so bad. Whenever you have the time, look up the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra. They've got a lot of cool stuff, and also, having come to Texas, uh, th that's a whole new story in of itself. They did their own rendition of Deep in the Heart, because of Texas, you know, yeehaw. But there's this, uh, <laughs> there's this Kenny Rogers song that I never heard of called Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town. And the spin he put on that song... <laughs> Oh, freaking A. <laughs> it's this song from back in the day about this Vietnam vet who has a girlfriend, but being wounded, he's lost the ability to walk, and she's inevitably gonna walk out on him. And so the premise of the whole song is, oh, Ruby, please don't take your love to town. You know, don't leave me, don't walk out the door, blah, blah, blah. What Jeff did in this, <laughs> during his show, he said, if he was in this position, he would be like, Nah, Ruby, you take your love to town and then come back and tell me what happened. And I was just like, What? What'd you say? <laughs> what? See? 
that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of old man I want to be. I want to be just like that when I grow. I'm just kidding. But no, still. <laughs> oh crap. That was funny. But the coolest thing of all from that whole night is that Jeff quoted scripture. Now this is back in May, so I don't remember the context. This is before intermission, but he had said, don't hide your light under a bushel, which is taken right out of Matthew, which is also part of the Sermon on the Mount, if I remember correctly, but I'm not here to preach. The, the fact that he quoted scripture is really cool. And then later on, when he's talking about that Kenny Rogers song, shortly after that, he's like, don't be getting dirty in church. So, just to call the tree by the fruit I see, uh, yeah, Jeff Goldblum has a reverence for God. So that was pretty cool. But as far as what now, like that was back in May and I'm still trying to figure out what, what to do now that the whole dinosaur pursuit is fulfilled and basically over with. Uh, yeah, that, that journey's kind of done. I don't know, uh, it would take God hitting me with a really big 2x4, but I've actually thought about going back to YWAM. I would not recommend it, <laughs> which is kind of oxymoron, but yeah, I've, I've actually thought about returning to Youth with a Mission and doing the whole missionary thing. Um, but also, for the sake of, I guess, turning YouTube into an income, video games, uh, doing video game art. You know, I did a little bit of research and the highest paid YouTubers are gamers, who would have thought. So doing video game art may very well be a thing, so we'll see. But this video has gone long enough, I've gone on and on and on and on and on, so I'm going to shut up now, you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll just we'll see what happens.